Hey guys, welcome to the uh, next video in the series. Um, we finished the sound, uh, sound dampening in the uh, rear of the boot and now it's time to apply the, um, the uh, acoustic layer. I'm going to be using a couple of different products um, here on the wheel, wheel wells and um, things like that. I'm going to use a mass loaded vinyl, uh, the mass loaded vinyl um, light. Um, so uh, that's going to go here on the uh, top and sides of the wheel wells. Um, inside the uh, inside the uh, body skin, I'm going to be using this uh, 12 mil um, acoustic liner, just a, uh, a self adhesive back foam. Um, and in the floor plan itself, I'm going to be using a, um, a mass loaded vinyl, but a heavier version than this. So. Um, Three different, three different products. So I've already started, um, made a bit of a start on cutting out the, uh, the wheel well um, liner. Um, now it's a perfect length to, to go from here and stretch across right into the, uh, right across the top of the wheel arch, but uh, only one snag. And that is, there's a lot of wiring on the other side, which um, will need to be removed so we can get the whole piece in without cutting it. Um, so let me just take you through what we need to do over here. Um, so this is the area that I'm, I'm referring to. So once we get our, um, once we get the liner into place um, over here, like this, uh, this piece will need to hang down, hang down in there, which means that we need to get rid of all of this uh, wiring first. So. The first thing I need to do is take out the rear uh, driver's side uh, door card. Um, it's pretty simple. We basically um, just uh, pull up pull up this trim and um, use a trim tool. Um, let's get rid of that. And then there is uh, um, one Phillips head uh, torque bolt uh, screw in there and another torque uh, in there. Uh, when you pull those both out, um, then basically you can, um, you know, you can you can pull the, the whole door cut out that side. Don't pull it too far because there's a few wires in the back that need to be disconnected. Um, so I'm going to do that now and uh, just come back to you and show you what we've got. Hey guys, so uh, yeah, it's a T20 that you need. Um, uh, one of those. Anyway, T20. Um, they're the screws to come out as I said one one in here and uh, one in there once that's out um, you can basically just pull There's things just clipped in so there's clips that run along the top of the window uh, there's, a, there's a couple of clips down in the back there and some clips down the bottom there so you can just sort of pull the, um, the door card out a bit and it's also uh, pushed into this uh, C pillar here so you just pull that out like this, there you go, and don't pull it out too far because there's a whole heap of wiring in the back here. Um, uh, this wire here is for your little um, night, lights, night light strips. Um, it's just a little white, little white one there. Basically you just pull it out, out she comes, that one there. Um, then these ones here have a little clip that you push down and then just pull same again pull push down and pull and the third one push down and okay so it's going to be a little more difficult try again push down and pull that's those three then you have your speaker wires now mine are going to be a little different because their uh, custom installs so they're just going to um, just pull apart and then you should be able to get your door card out so I'm uh, just going to do that and get them come right back all right so uh, this is the back of the door card um, you've got some speaker wires in here a uh, little junction box um, and uh, uh, this is the connector for your um, night light, your little LED, sorry, little uh, fiber optic um, light that runs around the back here. 
Um, we're going to see a lot more of this door card later because we're going to uh, soundproof that all up. Um, anyway, just a just quick look as to what's on the back of your door card. So back to the car, we'll have a look at uh, that inside section after the door card's been removed. Okay, so uh, this is the area here. Um, so basically we have uh, the uh, seatbelt mechanism um, down the bottom here uh, where the seatbelt winds into. Um, these are where the clips for the door cards uh, go into. Um, another little junction box, not sure what that is. Um, and here are the clips that attach to the top of the door card. Uh, more wiring that runs into the back of the car. Um, and the clip for the side bolster um, that we showed you before and of course the rear passenger seat belt uh, retractor that sort of rolls into there. So we're going to have to um, pull up as much of this uh, carpet and wiring to get most of that stuff out of the way so that I can line um, lay the uh, uh, the mass loaded vinyl um, down across the top of that wheel well which basically you know runs from there and you know down down into here so um, I'm going to get started on that and I will come back and give you an update shortly okay the uh, next section uh, in terms of getting this carpet out so we can get to the wheel well is we need to get this uh, waterproof layer of liner um, removed first so uh, there is a stud here um, another another one behind the seat belt there another one here along the top of the window and one out towards the back over here um, we also need to pull these bolts out take this little bracket thing out uh, there are seven mil bolt uh, seven mil nut um, so we'll need to pull those out and then lifting the the carpet um, so you fold that back here uh, pull that through the loop that should pretty much lift out it won't lift all the way because the seat belt um, needs to be removed so that we can pull that up uh, I'll try not to have to do that if I can avoid it um, but otherwise once we get this out of the way this thing you know, the whole carpet should just fold back peel back and we should be able to uh, get the access that we need so um, I'll give that a go and I'll be right back all right uh, back again um, so I've got that I've got this uh, this cover taken off it just hides a whole heap of wiring um, and you don't need to take these front ones off, uh, you can just pop um, one, two, three um, of these uh, of these clips um, using uh, just some, a trim tool coming from behind and you know, just leave them out. Be careful because um, this, uh, this line is pretty pretty thin and can easily tear. So. Um, Anyway, we've got that sort of pulled back. Now we can, now we can get to the, uh, now we can get to the carpet and roll that back. Uh, so I'm going to do that and join you in a moment. Okay, this um, just test fitting this mass loaded vinyl across the top of the uh, wheel well. So um, it's going to take a few goes to sort of trim it up and get it absolutely right. But uh, so. That end seems to fit okay into the, into the battery area, covers the top of the wheel well. Uh, go around to the front. We've tucked it up underneath all that wiring. Here we go. Okay, so uh, that you know, covers it all in one big piece. Sort of runs down into there. So um, still got all the holes to cut out of it and all that type of thing but uh, that seems to fit and uh, I think that's going to work um, okay so uh, need to now lay that uh, sound deadener and um, start trimming this uh, this vinyl piece to size all right back in a moment
Hey guys, back again. Um, okay, a bit of a change of plan uh, with this little project. Uh, so first of all, I'm, I pulled out this uh, vapor shield uh, completely. Um, uh, just remove that. Um, and to do that, I had to disconnect this uh, uh, this little whatever it is. Um, that is using a T40. Uh, just two bolts that come straight out. So after that, you can just lift the, uh, the whole vapor liner straight out. Um, so because I'm going to do a bit of work in the back here, I think it's about, uh, and I don't want to get this rear console scratched up. I'm going to pull that out. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, so first of all, uh, under this cover, there's two 10 mil bolts that hold the back of the uh, console down. And then underneath the uh, the vent system, there's some torque screws and things. Um, so what I'm going to do is, is lift that out first. So just get your fingers underneath it or a trim tool and just, just lift it until it comes out. Just like that. Don't pull too far because there is some wires and things. Um, so this is uh, just the hot and cold. Just basically pulls out. Um, and that can now be put aside somewhere safe. Uh, so in here, um, we then have some bolts that need to be removed. Um, so from memory, it's uh, these ones here that attach it to the floor. Also take this backing plate out just by lifting and pulling. Don't need to take it out, but it's helpful so uh, the other piece of then these little lights um, this wiring in here that connects to the back of the lights the easiest way to do that is just push the back to push the lights through and you can see the clip on the back there so you know once again just just push Ouch. careful uh, it's sharp in there once again the wiring is just here uh, that just pulls off like that and um, and then those wires can just be fed back up into the console okay so all that wiring just stays in here um, these 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 screws here don't need to be taken out um, so that's the front and we just need to take those two screws out in a minute and let's get these 10 mils out of the back uh, so you're just going to trim tool slide that out get your um, your 10 mil socket Go, they're done. So the back should now be loose, which it is. And now we need to get these uh, these ones off out the front. They're a uh, they're a what are they? T20, um, Torx 20. So just undo them like this. Be careful you don't drop them into the void. Okay. One and then the second one. Exciting viewing, I know, folks. Sorry. Okay, and then basically the whole console. I should just lift it out to the back, and it should just slide out. And there you go. One console out of the car, and a lot more room to work. And. Uh, you won't end up scratching up the console while you're working in the back here. There you go. Hey guys, so I'm um, back with another update. So, uh, pulled out the uh, passenger side door card. Um, uh, and this wiring loom here, which is a little clip that you push in and that unclips. So that's all now pretty loose. Um, I need to take that, the get this seat belt out of the way so uh, it's a T50 um, 
pull that out. Close enough. Okay, and that's it. So that's the seatbelt bolt. And uh, it means the seatbelt can just retract in out of the way. That's good. Um, and then have to pop off these rivets, these plastic rivets. So just need a um, trim tool. Stick it in under there and just pop it out. That's it. I've done the others. So it's, uh, it's basically all ready to fold back. So um, just we can fold that right back down now. Uh, so it's been behind the seat. And then this uh, carpet behind the wiring, we should just about be able to fold that back as well. And it'll give us complete access to that uh, both wheel wells. All right, just before we sign off for the day, um, managed to pull out those carpet pieces, uh, through them, one one on each side and the one in the middle. They basically, you know, once you've once you've taken off those clips and things, they basically just pull out. So um, that's given us uh, complete access to all the metal under the back seat. Uh, this with the rest of the main carpet from the main cabin joins and those um, low pressure, pressure fuel pumps these things here um, so uh, that's about it for the day um, I'll join you tomorrow for uh, the next stage in the project see you then